Listening, part two. You will hear five conversations. Listen to the conversations and answer the questions. Choose the correct answer. You will hear each conversation twice. Conversation one. You hear two photography students called Bella and Simon talking about cameras. These new landscape images that you've taken are great, Bella. Thanks, Simon. I've been experimenting with my new super high definition camera, and it's really exciting what it can do. Really, I would never have thought you could get this kind of resolution from any camera. I mean, simple digital cameras have their merits, but this new megapixel resolution technology brings photography to a whole new level. I agree. I also think simple digital cameras are good, but once you have a high-resolution image like this one on your laptop, you can work on it in so many ways without worrying about the image's pixel structure becoming visible. It certainly needs better software for the best results. I guess you have a point. Maybe it's something that I should try myself. I mean, I like using my digital camera, but this new megapixel camera is out of this world. Well, if you're interested, I can tell you where I got mine from. Thanks. Conversation one. You hear two photography students called Bella and Simon talking about cameras. These new landscape images that you've taken are great, Bella. Thanks, Simon. I've been experimenting with my new super high definition camera, and it's really exciting what it can do. Really, I would never have thought you could get this kind of resolution from any camera. I mean, simple digital cameras have their merits, but this new megapixel resolution technology brings photography to a whole new level. I agree. I also think simple digital cameras are good, but once you have a high resolution image like this one on your laptop. You can work on it in so many ways without worrying about the image's pixel structure becoming visible. It certainly needs better software for the best results. I guess you have a point. Maybe it's something that I should try myself. I mean, I like using my digital camera, but this new megapixel camera is out of this world. Well, if you're interested, I can tell you where I got mine from. Thanks. Conversation two. You hear a university tutor. Talking to a student called Kelvin about a project. Morning, Kelvin. Come in and have a seat. How are you today? I'm fine, thanks. I guess you want to see me about the geography project. Yes, I'm a bit concerned that you aren't going to complete it on time, since you changed your topic two weeks into the assignment. I know what you mean. Well, I was a bit bothered about that myself, so I've been doing a lot of extra hours to catch up, and I'm certain I'll meet the deadline now. Ah, well done. I'd like you to send me what you've written so far. But it's not in its final form yet, and there will be mistakes. So I don't want you to see it until I'm happy with it. Don't worry. I understand that. And I won't be marking it now. I just want to check that you're including the correct kind of information, because your last project was beautifully done. But unfortunately, a large amount of text wasn't entirely relevant. You don't want to lose marks again, do you? Oh, okay. I understand now. I'll send you through the first half of the project later on today. Shall I email it to you at the usual address? Yes, that'll be perfect. Conversation two. You hear a university tutor talking to a student called Kelvin about a project. Morning, Kelvin. Come in and have a seat. How are you today? I'm fine, thanks. I guess you want to see me about the geography project. 
Yes, I'm a bit concerned that you aren't going to complete it on time since you changed your topic two weeks into the assignment. I know what you mean. Well, I was a bit bothered about that myself. So I've been doing a lot of extra hours to catch up and I'm certain I'll meet the deadline now. Ah, well done. I'd like you to send me what you've written so far. But it's not in its final form yet and there will be mistakes. So I don't want you to see it until I'm happy with it. Don't worry, I understand that. And I won't be marking it now. I just want to check that you're including the correct kind of information because your last project was beautifully done. But unfortunately, a large amount of text wasn't entirely relevant. You don't want to lose marks again, do you? Oh, OK. I understand now. I'll send you through the first half of the project later on today. Shall I email it to you at the usual address? Yes, that'll be perfect. Conversation 3 You hear two students called Guy and Rebecca talking about a presentation they are preparing. What's up, Rebecca? You look really anxious. I'm really stressed out. I don't think I'm the right person to organise our presentation. Maybe you should be in charge of it. You must be joking. You are the most efficient person I know. I think we should stick with the procedure that we agreed on. I'm still doubtful. I mean, what if our argument isn't dynamic enough or convincing? But you said the same before our last presentation, and it turned out to be incredible. We got excellent feedback from it. I guess so. So, where do we go from here? Just focus on the key point. We aren't interested in politics or blaming governments. As young people, we want to emphasize that everyone, wealthy or poor, young or elderly, needs to play their part to bring climate change to an end. Okay, you have a valid point. Let's get on with our meeting with the others and finish our preparation. Conversation 3 You hear two students called Guy and Rebecca talking about a presentation they are preparing. What's up, Rebecca? You look really anxious. I'm really stressed out. I don't think I'm the right person to organise our presentation. Maybe you should be in charge of it. You must be joking. You are the most efficient person I know. I think we should stick with the procedure that we agreed on. I'm still doubtful. I mean, what if our argument isn't dynamic enough or convincing? But you said the same before our last presentation, and it turned out to be incredible. We got excellent feedback from it. I guess so. So, where do we go from here? Just focus on the key point. We aren't interested in politics or blaming governments. As young people, we want to emphasize that everyone, wealthy or poor, young or elderly, needs to play their part to bring climate change to an end. Okay, you have a valid point. Let's get on with our meeting with the others and finish our preparation. Conversation 4 You hear two students, Nick and Gemma, talking about a student house. So Gemma, now that you've checked out the house, does it live up to your expectations? As you know, we've only got one bedroom available and we have a few other applicants waiting to view it. I think you'd fit in really well, as we're a sociable bunch of people. Yes, that's certainly the impression I get from meeting everyone. It sounds like a real party house. The thing is, I've got final exams at the end of this year, so I'm going to need to really get down to some serious studying at home, and I'm not sure it'll be a suitable environment for that. It's funny you should say that, because only last week we had a house meeting and decided we need to put more hours in with our college work than we did last year. I'm not really into study groups, though. I prefer to work independently. I totally get where you're coming from, and actually we came up with the idea of quiet times in the house, which we'd all agree on. There will be no loud activities or visitors during those times. Oh, okay. That sounds like a really cool idea. 
In that case, I'd love to take you up on your offer. Conversation four. You hear two students, Nick and Gemma, talking about a student house. So, Gemma, now that you've checked out the house, does it live up to your expectations? As you know, we've only got one bedroom available, and we have a few other applicants waiting to view it. I think you'd fit in really well, as we're a sociable bunch of people. Yes, that's certainly the impression I get from meeting everyone. It sounds like a real party house. The thing is, I've got final exams at the end of this year, so I'm going to need to really get down to some serious studying at home. And I'm not sure it'd be a suitable environment for that. It's funny you should say that because only last week we had a house meeting and decided we need to put more hours in with our college work than we did last year. I'm not really into study groups, though. I prefer to work independently. I totally get where you're coming from, and actually, we came up with the idea of quiet times in the house, which we'd all agree on. There will be no loud activities or visitors during those times. Oh, okay. That sounds like a really cool idea. In that case, I'd love to take you up on your offer. Conversation five. You hear a mature student talking to a bank employee about a student loan. Excuse me, I'd like some information about applying for a student loan. I already have an account with you. Certainly. Which university do you intend to study at? Actually, I've already started my course. I'm just about to complete my first year. Oh, usually students apply before they start. I realise that, but I've been running my own business while I'm an undergraduate. I'm falling behind with my coursework, and I feel that I ought to close down my business and concentrate on my studies. However, even with the part-time employment I've managed to find, I may not be able to make ends meet. Ah, I see. Right. Well, first of all, we will need written evidence from whichever institution you're studying at to prove that you're a full-time student. Okay, I'll get onto that straight away. Just to clarify, though. I don't make any repayments until I've completed my studies, do I? That's correct, and you won't be charged interest on the loan until after graduation. Oh, really? That's good to hear. Conversation five. You hear a mature student talking to a bank employee about a student loan. Excuse me, I'd like some information about applying for a student loan. I already have an account with you. Certainly. Which university do you intend to study at? Actually, I've already started my course. I'm just about to complete my first year. Oh, usually students apply before they start. I realise that, but I've been running my own business while I'm an undergraduate. I'm falling behind with my coursework, and I feel that I ought to close down my business and concentrate on my studies. However, even with the part-time employment I've managed to find, I may not be able to make ends meet. Ah, I see. Right. Well, first of all, we will need written evidence from whichever institution you're studying at to prove that you're a full-time student. Okay, I'll get onto that straight away. Just to clarify, though. I don't make any repayments until I've completed my studies, do I? That's correct, and you won't be charged interest on the loan until after graduation. Oh, really? That's good to hear.